Listen, marriage can be even lonelier than when you were single. And it's easy to get caught up in all the wedding day emotions. I mean, we see the bliss, we see the perfect smiles and the perfect photos, and we envy them. But so often we don't see that just a few years later, there's a 50% chance of some deep feelings of loneliness in that perfect marriage. And I just wanted to speak to that because there's a ton of people who feel this pressure inside of them to get married, maybe for the first time, or maybe to get married again because they're trying to start a family and they feel like their window is closing. Whatever the case may be, I just wanna remind you, time is on your side. It doesn't feel like it, but trust me, it is. Because getting married before you're ready, getting married to someone who's not actually good for you, rushing into marriage before you start healing some of your trauma baggage, not learning about why your past relationships failed, not looking into any avoidance issues that you might have, or on the opposite end, why you tend to overextend and people please, not being aware of any fears that you might have, that marriage tends to only result in you being even more lonely than you are when you're single. And I want so much better for you. You want so much better for you. But we do ourselves a massive disservice and we can waste a whole bunch more time that we didn't even know we had by not becoming the right type of person, an emotionally mature person, a self-aware person who isn't perfect, but we're on a path towards healing. We're learning about what any relationship needs to be healthy. We're learning about boundaries, how to increase our self-worth, how to increase our self-respect, what to do when someone neglects us, and just as important, we're picking the right type of person who is interested in practicing mutual respect and real vulnerability with us. That's worth waiting for. It's worth the wait. Because if you don't, you will just waste even more time convincing yourself that the next relationship will hopefully be better than the last one. Yeah, but how do I know when I'm ready? You'll know, because it's a completely different feeling. It's, I don't need this person, I'm complete without them but I want them in my life because they add something wonderful. They aren't my whole life. I'm not putting it all on them. They complement my life. They're my partner. They're my friend. I feel safe with them, not just physically, but emotionally. Immature love makes you feel drained and confused. Mature love makes you feel encouraged, respected, valued, served, appreciated. Mature love says, I'm not gonna hold back who I am out of fear of them leaving me. I can be my authentic self because whoever would want me to abandon myself and bury my feelings and stay quiet, that's not someone I would wanna be with. Some of you have never felt that safety or freedom, have you? Because you grew up in abusive, toxic environments where you had to earn love, or you were silenced or dismissed or chronically invalidated. Some of you have no idea what real love is supposed to look like. And I just need to remind you, you might not know what's best for you. Do me a favor and find out because I want you to have the love that you deserve.